Hello everyone, Common J here. Welcome back to KJ Reviews. And on today's episode of KJ Reviews, we're going to be taking a closer look at the DX King Excalibur and King of Arthur Wonder Ride book. I understand that I can't get the robot into the frame or the box into the frame fully, which kind of sucks, but you know what? That's why we could just do this. Anyways, set you to the side, set you to the side, and take a look at the box. So on the front of the box, you got your Kamen Rider Saber Dragon Excalibur form. The King Excalibur sword, Toy Sword, which goes from sword mode to robot mode. And vice versa. And on the very top right here, your King of Arthur Wonder Ride book. On the side, King of Arthur... No, sorry, King Excalibur, King of Offer right down here, and in the sword form and robot form, which I have him posed like that right now. <laughs> on the other side, another look at the sword form and the robot form holding the sword itself, which I'm assuming is, you know, that extra part. I'll get into detail about that later. And on the back, like always, your instructions on how to use the thingy you just bought, and it's only sideways because I want to get a full frame view of it for once. And this is the closest thing I'll be able to do. Also, right here, something very interesting about it is that it comes with the RKF accessory for the RKF Saber fo um, figurine, which unfortunately I do not have at the moment. I will probably be picking it up though, just so I can get a better look at that in action, and because I want to see that. Anyways, set the box to the side. Whoo, that's a lot of boxes. Let's first and foremost bring out King Excalibur, which I, I still can't get a good view, shot of in. That's that's fine. That's okay. We'll, we'll just have him sideways. We'll just we'll just put him sideways. You know. Uh, don't do that. Don't twist on me yet. This leg does go twisty twisty, which is cool. I, I, now, okay, so this is going to break it, the immersion a little bit, because I can just do this. That's the best, as best of a shot, a full body shot as I can get for him. It breaks the immersion a little bit, but you know what, that's fine. So, King Excalibur, very similar to, I'm going to pull you back up, and I apologize, that must be jarring for some of you. Very similar to the last robot, Breaking Mammoth, and Time Machines, it's a robot figure. A CGI robot figure, which we're only going to see in a few episodes. More than likely, we're not going to see him again for a while, because, spoiler alert, Brave, I mean, Saber already has his full Wonder Ride combo, which you should know that by now if you're watching this. <laughs> Anyways, it's a really cool figure, you know, there's not much to it, of course, there's usually almost not a lot in terms of, oh yeah, I, I, if you want, like you could put the sword into it so it, like it stays like that. But if you want to like take the sword off of them, you gotta like hold this, press this down, and just, woo. And there you go. Look at that. Also, this um, hand is like a claw, which holds the uh, RKF saber figure in hand. The claw. <laughs> Back of this is pretty bang land, but on the front of it is the King Excalibur sword, but also grabby goo as too as well. Looks a little weird like this, you know. There is a few buttons on the back, one right here on the leg, which you you're gonna you know use for when it's in the sword form for later. Jaquin, you press this one on the back right here, and you get that sound. A cute little jingle they did not need to add, but it's so cool that they kind of did. That's cool. This button doesn't really have much of a... Anything. We'll get into that later. 
And there's one more button on the very top right here. Which is, uh, these two buttons are, um, transformation buttons. Which we'll do right now. So, I, I, I rather have him back in his... Just hold the sword. Hold the sword, please. No, wait, 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 wait. Hold the sword. Okay, okay, okay. And you go back in there. And you go back in there. Thank you. And thank you. Okay. So, to transform him, the first thing we gotta do is push his head down and then twist it. Press the buttons back here. This is not the order in which you do it, but this is the order in which I will do it. You hold this and actually move them around. You press this button, press it and hold it, and this will do a twisty do that will twist around. You just turn his head sideways, and there you go, King Excalibur. Which is, I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of annoying when they first introduced that. Like, he flashes and. and I'm like, oh, please don't do that every time. You know? Like, please don't do that every time. And he didn't. Which I'm glad. So, this is the sword form, which Saber uses when he has the Wonder Ride, King of Alpha Wonder Ride book inserted into his driver. He uses two swords, which is not very knightly, but that's okay, because it's really cool to look at. I'll keep it in saber form for now. I'll put you to the side. And now we can finally bring out our sword driver. And bring out King of Alpha Wonder Ride Book. Now... I'll show it later, but there's something that bugs me about this ride book, and I'll, I'll explain it later. Anyways, open it up. You got your King of Alpha and the sword, and the QR code. Boop. King of Alpha. I like how it says it so that it kind of skips over of, so it sounds like King Alpha. King of I Dios me also. Apologies. King of Alpha. Like always, I do like to see how it works on its own. King of Alpha, two swords. Oop, put that there, back to the side. I don't know, man. That was cool. I mean, that's how it is in the show. He has the two swords. He has... That's a little annoying. Oh, yeah, I gotta give it some... You really gotta give it some beans.
Saber Offer Form. Now, we're going to break... I... Quiet. <laughs> Quiet, you. So, here's something I, I totally understand why. You know, I get it. I'm not going to bring you out. I get it. I'm not going to be like 100% ang uh, angry and upset with it, but it kind of bugged me a little bit. So, two blue ride books. Now, I, I totally understand from a show f point that, like, you can't have a main rider power-up, you know, combo with a secondary rider. But even so, why are you going to have it as a blue book if it's not going to work with Lion Senki? Do you see the problem here? Do you, or do you not see the problem I have here, ladies and gentlemen? A little annoying. Also, I really like this feeling of holding two swords. I know they're two dinky toy swords. But I still like the feeling of holding two swords. Anyways. If I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly... You put the book in like that. I... I so you... Oh, sorry. You put the book in like this. It's a little annoying. I think that's how you put it. I legit don't remember. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Technical difficulties. I was right, so you put the book in like that. And it doesn't do anything. Unless you keep it in. So it goes like this. And it doesn't do anything, unless I'm pressing, like, the wrong button. I don't know. doesn't really do anything. I use a different book. And nothing. I don't know if it's like... They're the, those are the only two buttons that really work, so I don't get why that doesn't really do anything unless I'm missing something. If, I, if I'm missing something, I apologize. But... Anyways, there was a few distractions along the way with that, but that's going to be about it for the King of Alpha Wonder Ride book and the King Excalibur sword. Yeah, it's pretty dinky, but between me and you guys, I, I, just, I genuinely enjoy the feeling of holding two swords. It, it's a great feeling. It's a, it, it's a great feeling. Hey, you know, this actually feels pretty good. You know? Anyways, this is getting weird. Anyways, <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe today. And I hope to see you all in the next one. And please don't forget to hit the ring the bell on the way out. Laters.
Hello everyone, Common J here. Welcome back to KDA Reviews. On today's episode of KDA Reviews, we're going to be taking a closer look at the DX Tenkuno Pegasus Wonder Ride book, which is by far 